Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Unconformities. In geology, an unconformity is the surface or contact between two groups of rocks, generally where a layer of sediment has been deposited over an older, pre-existing rock. In simpler words, imagine the white-coloured layer A being deposited first. This was then eroded. Sediment B, the grey sediment, was then deposited over it. The unconformity is simply the surface between layer A and layer B. An unconformity may represent a break of any length of time, from just a second to billions of years. That's amazing! There are four types of unconformities. Paraconformities, disconformities, nonconformities, angular unconformities. Paraconformities are formed by a break in deposition. Parallel layers of sediment build up, but this stops for a while, then carries on again. There is no evidence of erosion in a paraconformity. The paraconformity is the break in deposition of parallel bedded sediments. Disconformities are formed by a break in deposition due to erosion. For example, layers of sediment build up. There is then a pause in sedimentation when the uppermost layer is eroded parallel to the bedding planes. After this, Sedimentation continues, with more layers building up on top. This can make disconformities sometimes difficult to see, with only a sudden change in fossils exposing the disconformity. The disconformity is the break in layers due to the erosion of an older layer. A nonconformity is the contact that separates a younger sedimentary layer of rock from an older igneous or metamorphic rock. Nonconformities are formed over a very long time. Take some ancient granite that has already been uplifted and exposed by weathering and erosion. Upon that, layers of sedimentary rock build up, burying the ancient surface. The nonconformity is the old erosional surface on the underlying older rock. An angular unconformity is the contact that separates older, often tilted or deformed rocks from the younger layer of rock that overlies them. A long time ago, layers of sediment built up. Then, many millions of years later, these were then subjected to forces which folded and tilted them. Weathering and erosion then wore away the ends of the tilted layers. Sediments were then deposited across a surface, this carrying on upward as parallel younger layers. Angular unconformities often represent a much greater time gap than disconformities, due to the time span required for the deformation of the older layers and then the consequent uplift and erosion before the younger sediments were deposited. The angular unconformity is the old erosional surface across an ancient deformed surface upon which different rocks were laid. It's quick quiz time! How many types of unconformity are there? Four types. Which unconformity is formed by a short break in deposition? A paraconformity. Which unconformity forms over ancient eroded surfaces? A nonconformity. Which unconformity has a break in layers due to erosion? A disconformity. What evidence can we use to identify a disconformity? Fossils. Well done! Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!